What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex, and in this video I want to talk about if the new Tomb Raider game will be shown at E3 2021. Now, uh, the, the initial response you could give, or the initial answer you could give, is probably a no. We were told back in January that no game announcement, like a, like the new game, was it was not going to come in the near future. Now the question is, what does near future mean? Does that mean six months? Because it's been you know it's been relatively close to that ever since. Obviously, <laughs> if you just add the months up, I, I really think you know with Square Enix going to E3, I find it hard to believe you have a 25 year anniversary of one of your most popular and one of your most kind of prestigious games, and you don't at least show just a little tease. Now. I'm not expecting to see the game. I'm not expecting like a, a hands-on gameplay demo, right? Like in a like a 5, 10, 15 minute gameplay presentation. I just think they could do something, depending on how big their show is, of course. They could do something where they do their conference, they go to it, and they have a Tomb Raider kind of section to it where they again kind of reference that it's the anniversary. And, and they've been having kind of mini announcements. It's actually been a somewhat pretty big year uh, for for Laura Croft and for Tomb Raider, even without a, a game announcement. Even though we know we know a game's happening, so I guess that was the announcement. But without seeing it, they still have done quite a few things so far this year. I really think it makes sense to continue that at E3, and uh, and you could even do a thing much like um, like EA will sometimes, or they've done in the past, right? Even with like Star Wars games, they'll show like developers talking like at the studio nothing nothing really crazy maybe a logo here or there i really think something like that would actually kind of work for a tomb raider something that you give people a little something right you don't give them too much because the game is probably years and years out probably two three years away but i feel like you could do something where they talk about what the next game could be whether you're you're talking to developers that work there or whether you give a name because uh, you know what we know so far from this new game is it's actually kind of confusing what it is it's going to like blend the new and old so like is it a reboot you're rebooting it but you're doing it like you have been or is it like a four but like they said three was the end so like it's it's kind of odd but like they're wording for the the not like the flat out back in january their wording for the announcement wasn't that great it was pretty confusing into what it's actually going to be Camila Luddington, I believe is her name. She's the one who 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 voices and plays Laura Croft. Like we don't know, like is she still coming back because she did the you know the first three. So there's a lot of unknowns. Just to kind of give us a little a little bit of it, I don't think would be all that bad. You also can look at what else Square Enix is doing. Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, like they have quite, uh, even uh, Avengers, right? They, let's not forget about that gem. They have quite a few things they could talk about. Technically, they could leave Tomb Raider by the side. They don't have to really do anything with that. But I would just think, I don't know, again, like a, a big, big anniversary. Uh, you know, you could even word it, or they could even word it as like female empowerment, which there's nothing wrong with it. But if they want kind of, if they want female representation, they could say, hey, you know, we have this game, this game, this game, and now let's just. But you know, that, that's that's largely joking. But what what is serious is I feel like a Tomb Raider section of a presentation in a year like this makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Um, again, you don't. Uh, it could end up just being where they reference it, and that's kind of it, where they say, like, you know, they're, 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 there's news coming in the future. We have nothing to show to you right now, but they are working on it. So, you know, do they have a title yet? Probably. Do they have, do they have things to show us in that way? Probably not. So I, I would kind of argue the opposite there, but that doesn't mean you can't talk a little bit about it, much like a, kind of like a, a B-roll kind of thing. I think you could easily do something like that at your presentation. So it's not high on my list of things that I expect to be there. Okay, there, there's been some games that I've covered and I've made videos on over the last month at, at this point, and I, I felt like a lot more confident about them. And there's some that are like a pipe dream. This probably falls somewhere in the middle, where like if I if it doesn't happen. I understand it. You could even say, well, again, like Alex, they they said they basically told us that's not happening in the near future. But again, what does that does that mean? Six months? Does that mean a year? Does that mean two years? You know, how long do we have to go? I'm not I'm not uh, judging it. I'm not saying like that's a it's a huge negative thing and it's going to get worse for them as time goes on. I'm just saying it, it's kind of ambiguous how they actually worded it. So it could very well happen. Uh, and again, how you talk slash show something 
can very well like you don't have you don't have to do it one way. There's other ways of doing it. So just because uh, I'm not just because like I don't think they are expecting themselves to show us again like a trailer or a five to ten minute thing. I don't think anybody on planet Earth is expecting to see that. But could they do something else? Something to kind of just reference it, talk about it a little bit? Yeah, I think that's definitely possible. So let me know, guys, in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think it'll be there? Do you think it won't? In what capacity? Let me know. As always, make sure if you guys are not already, make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on. Give this video a like if you did like it. I'll be covering Square Enix's E3 as well as all the other E3 shows that are going to be going on that week. So loads and loads of content coming. I hope to see you guys there.